Hey, it's my new boy. God damn, I'm gonna bring you a new mother freaking chicken licking commentary today. Today, what you're about to watch is my version of a play review. Now, most people do play reviews by by actually doing single play reviews, but this is a comparison. I'm comparing. I'm doing two reviews and one video comparing two different players of the same caliber. First of all, I'm gonna be doing Eddie uh, Eddie Lacy, the rookie running back for the Green Bay Packers, 94 overall playoff edition card. If you see some of his stats on the back, 92 speed, 93 agility, 94 uh, acceleration. He has pretty decent stats. 85 awareness. 92 carrying, 94 trucking. He's a, he's a pretty decent running back. Uh, let's go on and look more into his deeper stats to see what his catching and his run block may be. Now, like I said, he is 94 overall. He has a 79 strength, not too big of strength. He has a very good truck, uh, 94. Um, 89 loose sniff, 90 bar carrier vision. Uh, 92 stiff arm. I'm not too much of a stiff arm person. He has a 95 spin move, so he is elusive and he does have some ankles in his in his closet. He has 92 jumper for some reason at running back position. So let's just stroll and get into the good parts about this card to see if he can actually block. He has decent uh, blocking stats, nothing impressive for running back. Anyways, let's get into the gameplay. First thing I noticed about this uh, card was that. He's a very versatile running back. But versatile means you can run up the gut with him or you can even break it outside with him. He's a very uh, elusive running back and he's uh, very hard to bring down by one player, that, which is very good. The, the one thing I did um, when I first used him, I ran the ball twice in a row and he was already tired. He had he was already in yellow. Now basically, if your running back is in yellow, that, that gives him the chance to, uh, if he takes a hit stick, gives him the ability to fumble more, which is something that you do not want your running back to do. With and his uh, his ball carry isn't too high at like a 99 or something, so that endangers his uh, capability and uh, and the ability to fumble the ball. But the thing is that um, being able to for him run the ball, he does have uh, some breakaway speed. For him to be more of a uh, trucking power back, he can uh, shade away from those defenders and break away and uh, to the open. Uh, I tried using him as a receiver. It didn't really work too well. He does have decent catching, but he just uh, isn't the receiver type he's more of a run the ball run you over just like that just ran him uh, pretty slowly over his trucking uh, is very effective try to wildcat just to uh, do something different move he, like I said he does have pretty good decent um geek moves and he is hard to bring down by himself which is two very good plusing and like I said his trucking uh it, it truck his trucking doesn't lie now I'm not sure what your running scheme is. Even if you have a decent running game, this may be the running back for you. He fit my running scheme very well, and I actually decided to keep him on a roster after this review. He fit my running scheme very well. I like what he brings to the table. I don't really throw the ball to my running back in the first place, so I wasn't too too worried about um, about what he could do. You see, he just bowls over there, bowls over two people like that. He's just a little running bowling ball. Which is the fact that I love. I love a running back who is uh, has some speed and also has the ability to truck. Currently, I was using the Marco Murray. He's probably one of the best running backs in the month just because his stats are very uh, overpowered, which makes him uh, pretty much a god. But this Eddie Lacy, like I said, he fits my style, and um, I'm not too much of a passer running back. So that's my opinion on this card. Now, like I said, uh, he he was going for about 17k, so that, that's relatively cheap. Now, comparing him to Matt Forte, who is going for a lot more, uh, I think Matt Forte is going for about 90, 80, 80K around that or area. He's a 97 overall. This Eddie Lacy is a 94 overall and can do almost um, the same stats. Let's take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at this Matt Forte. Like I said, 97 overall. Another playoff edition card which just came out, I believe, last week. The playoff edition cards came out. So he's going for going by 90K. Just turn, turn his card around, see his stats. I believe he has identical stats to the Eddie Lacy. It's 93 speed. 94 agility, 94 acceleration, 93 trucking, not as good as a looseness by one. He has 94 carry and 96 bar carry revision. Now I'm not too sure of what bar carry revision does for running back if you're usuring him all the time. I would only see if bar carry revision would come in if the computer was uh, was controlling your running back. So I'm not really sure that that's uh, a wasted um, attribute because it, it pretty much does nothing as you can see uh you're you're pretty much using him the whole game so let's look at deeper into a for taste test he has 79 strength which is not really too good for a power back uh, a 91 awareness 93 trucking once again his looseness isn't as good he has really good ball carry vision that doesn't matter he doesn't have a good spin move like eddie lacy he's more of a uh a more of a power type catching back 
he does have 82 catching, which he has really good catching shot. So I'm going to try to see if I can pass the ball to him, see if I can get him an open. Like how the Bears use him in real life, they like to pass him the ball. Uh, screen plays, lots of outside runs. The first thing I noted about this Matt Forte is he was he had the ability to truck and he also had the ability to break tackles and uh, shake off defenders, which is a good thing. Now, the one thing I didn't like about this Matt Forte is when it comes to him... Um, uh, like 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 running to the outside. He's not really too much of an outside runner, but then again, he doesn't have the speed. And the thing I like about him is he can actually take hits. Both running backs can take hits. They, I played about five games with each of them. Neither one fumbled the ball. You see, uh, Mafrate a couple of minutes ago, he just got his head declean. Now this is a play where Mafrate did break loose. He, he probably could have got caught if my opponent just died. See him struck off that that defender right there. That's the good thing about this Mafrate card. He does have very good uh, strength, and he, he does have decent breakaway speed. It took me a while to get some game plays from him. Uh, but, like I said, he, he's a decent running back. He He's more of an inside running back, as you see. Uh, I'm more break uh, longer runs if I run to the inside with him. Then bounce to the outside. Neither of these guys have Jamal Charles-like speed, but they do have uh, decent and minimal speed. Let's compare their stats one more time, side by side, and see who has the air. Um, looks like Matt Forte is better one speed. Uh, Eddie Lacy better one strength, uh, agility's forte, uh, acceleration tag, awareness goes for, to forte, trucking Eddie Lacy, broad carrier vision uh, to forte, loosening if to Eddie Lacy by one. So basically, these cars are almost identical. This is some stats of another. But when I like to pay 50k more for a card, or f almost 70k card for a card, you can do the same thing. No. So if I have to pick between these two cards, I would take the Eddie Lacy. He's cheaper and can almost do the exact same thing as a Malforte. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It took a while to make, and I really worked hard on it. And thank you guys for watching. You can leave a like if you like. And hey, skip fucking daddle.